In case you haven't noticed, it's been pretty quiet the past couple of weeks. At least until Flame Watch showed up. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm gonna take a real quick minute to catch you up on what's been going on in the Sea of Thieves before we talk about this Giga Chat! Alright, so after we found all five of the islands, the orbs started rambling, like, a lot. First, it spoke about the digging that has begun by the Reaper skeletons, and next to the orb, a map of all the islands doomed to become these skeleton dig sites. It even included the mysterious sixth island, Lookout Point. When each of these islands is visited, there's evidence that the construction and diggings have begun. Cube stones, shovels, wheel carts, and maps have been found on each of these islands. On the Lagoon of Whispers, Umbra speaks of rumors of skeletons building in the night and doesn't feel safe on her island anymore. But back at Port Merrick, Olga decided to reveal another card. And while I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone, it says... Blade. She is literally giving us the most useless information. Ever. Meanwhile, in the hideout, the orb decided to give more than one word of prophecy that's actually helpful. In a green land far from here, destiny once discovered by silvered candlelight. Within the halls of crafted stone, cold wounds and colder hearts. Driven by ambition, the old were watched, but never comprehended by the young. Years of experience breaks generations apart. Be that divide measured in years or in eons. It's difficult to say exactly what this story is about, but it's clearly outlining some of the details of the conflict between the royal ancients we learned about from the Lost Stars, and the statues seen on the shores of gold. After this, the orb would not stop talking. It began to gloat about how the enemies of the Reapers don't stand a chance fighting their ill-conceived battles, which again is strikingly opinionated for an orb that doesn't have human feelings. But just when things got quiet, we got a huge surprise from this guy! Flameheart is finally coming back, and not only that, he's bringing his feared ship with him. Who could have predicted that? Huh? Good for nothing, Olga. So now, after almost a year and a half, we're finally seeing our efforts being rewarded. But I mean, come on. This is pretty cool. All this build-up, everything the orb said, and... Olga revealed, I guess, has led to this moment. Only through Flameheart and the Burning Blade, the ship, not the stupid sword, will we be able to reveal the secrets of the Ancients. Not only are we going to get a sick new game mode with the Burning Blade, but also so much more. From this trailer alone, we got a look at the orb of secrets being held by a skeleton who looks strangely like Blackbeard. We got a look at Flameheart sitting in the Reaper's lair with the Orb of Secrets, and our first full look at the Burning Blade, which looks strangely like the Queen Anne's Revenge. And I love it! Now, in case you haven't noticed, Season 13 isn't launching until July 25th, which is well over a month away. I predict that unfortunately the next few weeks will be pretty quiet for the Sea of Thieves. The skeletons will continue building their camps, Olga will finally finish her five-word message, the orb will keep gloating and telling stories of the ancients. But, once this thing comes out, the whole sea is going to explode with lore and I can't wait. That's all for this video folks, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date, it means a lot. A thumbs up and a comment, and also never hurt. Can't wait for what's happening here, and I'll see you in the next one.